This triple beam balance reads to three decimal places, which is important to remember. We're going to be massing out this copper rod. But what we have happening is the balance itself is leveled out. So the line that's on this movable section has been lined up with the line here. This is just like the balance that you'd find at a doctor's office. After we're sure that the balance is zeroed, we'll place the copper bar on the balance. And then we'll be adjusting these until the balance resumes its position at that neutral spot. Taking the balance out to 40 grams, what happens when we cross over to 50 grams is balance drops. So that what that lets us know is this piece of copper weighs between 40 and 50 grams. So we'll take it back to 40 grams and we'll adjust the single gram unit until the same thing happens. The balance fall, slips over. So we haven't added enough weight yet. Haven't added enough weight. All right, so 40 point, or 48 grams is too much. So we're back to 47 grams. And that's too much. So let's go back to 46. 46 grams will put us over the top. So this is between 46 and 47 grams. So we're going to adjust with this to get us over to 47. So we're at 47.2.3. And we'll be using this fine adjustment to put the balance right in that neutral position. You can see that the balance over here is lined up in the neutral position. And where we would read this would be 46.41 or 0 four grams. So this number we would say that it is forty six point four. We've reached the point four. When we look carefully at this notch, we haven't reached point four one yet. So our value is point four zero and then we look between those two lines how far it's moved over and by my estimation I would say about a tenth of a spot. So this mass would be 46.401 grams. Our massing of our sample, the lines here need to be directly lined up with each other.